Hello everyone, welcome back to Crimson Black. My name is Shifty. And I'm Shane. And here we are with part three of our new series of GeoGuessr. Today, as he said, I have Shane with me today. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling uh, a little nervous, a little anxious, a little excited. So it's just a mix of emotions here. Is, uh, we're going to be looking at the top 60 largest cities yes. today. And he's going he's gonna to be playing... I don't think he's ever played before, besides a test round we did before this recording. Right, so I have about five minutes of experience. Uh, five minutes of experience. Top 60 largest cities. Let's get right into it. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, this seems like... Okay, what is that language? I think that's uh, Arabic. Yeah, definitely Arabic. Um, let's go look over there. You're immediately going to the map. Now this is this is a bold move. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. We can go right onto the street. We're yeah, in the alley have, currently. Well, now I should also mention to the viewers he can ask me one guess, or rather one hint okay. per round. Where is it? That's not your <laughs> hint. okay. You can't do that. That's obvious oh, wow. hints within the realm of. Okay. Like if you just ask me for a hint, I'll give you a hint. He looks important. Very busy here. Extremely busy. This is a major city. This looks like something from another time period. It's quite amazing, actually. <laughs> hmm. Oh, is that a flag there? Yeah, I, I wish I could uh, say what that language is, but I do not know for sure. Can you read that flag? That might help. AB text, yes. No, the flag right there. The flag. This? This! Huh? That's a flag! This is a flag? Yeah. Okay, we gotta navigate around this so we can get a better look at it. It's gray. Hmm, yes. Oh, there's a different one there. Mm, yes, yes. Hmm. <laughs> food book. Hmm. Food, food book? So they obviously value food in this this nation. Yes, they value yes, food. Yes, I can most, see some gourds nations. or whatever those are there. That's very <laughs> good fruit knowledge. Good food knowledge. Yes. So it is a major city. One of the largest in the world. Yes. I'm thinking it's... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Middle East somewhere? Where are you gonna pick? Where are you gonna land oh, here? There's so many. So many countries. So many countries. <gasps> okay. There are a lot of people. Yeah, normally just looking at a lot of the signs will usually help in, in figuring That's out. True. Lots of there's not a lot of English. Some, some, oh, there's English right there. Where? On the left. National Bank Limited. Mm -hmm. Say, like, sometimes you might catch I'm just a hoping bit of English. Catch, I'm hoping to catch, like, a country name. Yes, or that's a city a, name. Or a URL, which also helps. Ah. Oh. Alampana. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alampana. Zoom in one click. Just one click forward. Now, now look up. Oh, oh okay, where'd it go? Got, we must have passed it. No, it's right above you. Zoom ah. out, zoom out. Oh! Oh! Okay, so what do you got? What do you got? Hmm. Dhaka. Hmm, yes. I don't Dhaka. Think the country. Think is Dhaka the city name? Could be a part of a city. I don't even know what Dhaka is. I haven't heard of it. Never heard of Dhaka. Never heard of Dhaka. There's a little bit of English if you look close enough. There is scattered here and there. Ooh. Very tight road here. Jeez. Just want to take a look at this purple sign here. Hotel Maharani residential. Maharani. We got, what do we got up there? Oh no, it's not in English. I mean, I think all this stuff is in Arabic, but uh, I do not know. Oh, we're in Bangladesh. There you go. Yeah. Okay, that narrows it down. What's the capital of Bangladesh? I have 20. Where's Bangladesh? Zoom out. That'll, that's your first step. Over here, I'm sure it is. Remember, we did see what seemed like a city. Oh, Dhaka name. is the cap. Okay, I've never heard of Dhaka, but uh, that's where it is. You're going to guess Dhaka? 9.9 .9 kilometers. Really good nice. round. Nice. Really, really good nice. round. So okay, we so we got a five flag go. here. Round two. Round two. We okay. got an okay. er early flag right there. Flag. Oh, okay. The big one. What is Ah, uh, yes. Yes, indeed. That flag. Mm. Yes, it looks like it could be familiar. There's an eagle. Yeah, there's not too many flags that have eagles on them. Or a griffin. Yes. Uh, they celebrate pride. Some countries don't do that. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of whiteies. I think that narrows <laughs> it down. There you go. This is yeah, this picking looks, up details. This does look European, but I could be wrong. A lot of downtowns look kind of older. Yeah. 
style. Well, you know it's a downtown because there's a statue there. What side are they driving on here? I think they're driving on the right side, so it's got to be Europe. What like, if you look on, look at the, look, look. Yeah, Shredded, just... yeah, so we're in the UK. Yeah. For sure. Um, I mean, how many big cities are in the UK? That would be top 60s. And London has got to be one of the only ones. So we've got a few potential choices. Yes. <clears throat> I just want to, I got some extra time here. Hmm. 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 So vehicles and signs really seem to be the most useful thing here. If you look at those buses, they usually say, or police cars or buses usually have a city name on them, or at least a neighborhood name. I guess they have name. all kinds of like advertisements too. Oh, oh, it crossed wow. into nighttime because. Oh uh, my goodness! Go to the back to the other side of the street. So we're in London. <laughs> Where in London? It's like down downtown London. It looks downtown. old London, so you wouldn't go. You know, you could probably put yourself. In See, the I don't center. know a lot about London. Well, in that inner circle there, the last big road. Yeah, that's that's. I downtown. assume it would build outwards. Yes. Are we by the River Thames? And I wonder if it gives any like address information. Just because we have two minutes left, I'm just gonna explore a little more. Yeah. I can narrow it down. Well, London is split up into what do they call townships? Something like that. So. I don't know what they call it in the UK. In it's something London. like that. It's not boroughs. That's New York City, right? Okay, a lot of this is definitely at night. I just want to see if there's any like big identifying Oxford, Oxford Street. Street. I hope it's not the actual street name because we'd never find that. Oxford Street District. Hmm. Oof. Anyone from the UK watching? You're probably laughing at me now. Yes. Ugh. 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 Oxford Circus. Yeah, we're in Oxford. Where's Oxford? Well, we're, wait, it's in London, so it's not Oxford. But that's London. Oxford Street. Oxford Circus. I feel like that's not where we're at. I thought we were in London. Then again, it's your pick, but... There's probably areas called Oxford yeah, that's in I'm London. Thinking. Yeah. I'm gonna panic pick here. Just just drop a, drop a oh. click in there. Uh... Were we close? We oh! were very close. Actually, we were less than a kilometer. That was perfect. Very nice. Okay, oh this my also God. seems... Well, actually, yeah. Let's just... I think I might know what this is, actually. Really? Okay. Is that a flag up on the left there? Oh, there's flags everywhere. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, so this seems... Uh, uh, Spanish. Well, there, there's your flags. You don't know the flags, though. That's true, I'm not a flag guy. I think I know what that flag is. So you well, got the Spanish. Uh, that's, my what, guess, that's what we know. Is it Spain, though? Or is it somewhere in South America? That's not the Spanish flag, though, right? Well, thanks for telling me. <laughs> I guess that's my hint. <laughs> so You didn't know that? Oh, fuck, I thought everyone knew what the Spanish flag was at the very least. Somewhere down here. It doesn't look like Europe anyway, so... Yeah, <laughs> you're right. This is... Uh... So it's Mexico or South America, but I don't think that's a Mexican flag either, so I haven't really seen any English yet. That's English there. Where? Gallery Plaza Union. Galleria Plaza Union. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Galleria Plaza Union. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, I know a lot about South America. It's these massive roundabouts, bro. Mm, I'm trying to look for somewhere important. This entire area looks important. Yes, it does. Uh. Ah, Peru, of course. So what is the capital of Peru? Where'd you see that? Boop, 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 there boop, you go. Boop. You got it. Okay. There's Peru at the Union sign, too, but you didn't notice it. So, uh, I don't know how to pronounce Lima? Lima? L I just say Lima. Lima? I think my uh, Peruvian co-worker said that that is the biggest city. It looks like it in the map, too. <clears throat> but, uh, there's... Is that the park that we were just at? There's a massive roundabout with a little thing in the middle, maybe. I know. So far, you're doing really, really good. I mean, when you're in a city, eventually you're going to see the name of the city. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, this seems like a super important... Area it looks like a city. monument to me. How much time do I have? Oh, 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. Well, I'll put it around there for now, because I think it's kind of around that general area. And I'm out of time anyway. So I was about two, two kilometers. kilometers. Okay. Too far south. Oh, yeah. That's really the obvious. The Plaza Dos de Mayo. Wow. The battle monument. Nice. All right. On to round four. 
Oh, uh -oh. an indoor one. Indoor anime it's... conventions? What the f- <laughs> Um, okay, that, let's just look for signs. What do we got here? Someone's on- someone's streaming on the left. Everyone there is Asian. It's a, I mean, when I think anime convention, instantly I think Japan. Yes. But it's it all anime? What is this stuff? It looks it's like not all anime. For some reason, that's like I don't an think it's a convention. Piece. I think this is a museum. Yes. Um, when I think of English combined with Asian people, there's one place in the world I think of. Hong Kong? Two places in the world I think of. Is there a way out of here, maybe? I hope you can leave. Oh, oh, oh. we're in a different section now. It's like a maze, this place. Bad, Bad code. code. Oh! oh this now? That's in full English. But look on the left. It's in both languages. Bad codes belong to programmers, so it's broken English, meaning it was written by a non-native English speaker. That's smart. Good codes, bad codes. What they mean to say is good and bad code. So it was not written by a native English speaker. I think we're not in an English-speaking country. Definitely in Asia somewhere. I wish I could tell what language that was. It's probably obvious to a lot of em people. Emerging Curators um, Project 2018. Okay, so that looks uh, more like China or Korea. Jing Chong Chinyan. That sounds like There was Chinese. more writing on the wall behind you, too. And a lot of it's in English. Emerging Creators Project. Power of Arts. Maybe there's a city name or something. It's definitely China, because I keep seeing China. You could... But there's a lot of huge cities in China. I bet it has, like, a lion's share of the biggest cities. Look how high up we are! Yeah. But this is a major building. There's a bridge Very there. Important building. Huh. I see Shanghai it doesn't necessarily mean this is in Shanghai. Museums are always tough because they, they never are, tell yeah. you where they are. Hmm. Like there's a lot of text. Yeah, but there it is. Say but... where this emerging curators project takes place. Shanghai. Fifteen seconds. Drop a pick, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna I yeah. I guess I'll go for Shanghai. You have five Shanghai. seconds. Click one. Ah! Here we go. I'm sure it's in China. But... Oh my goodness. It was in Shanghai. 14k away. Not bad. That's actually really good. If I looked out the window and seen a river, I probably could have narrowed it down. Well, we saw a bridge, didn't we? <laughs> did we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did mention that. Okay, let's jump ahead as far as we can. Okay, we're by the ocean. Wow. Green signs. This is like a full-on cargo Look port. at those. Yeah. I've never seen a port like that. Are we in... So... Okay. We're in Asia somewhere. We are in Asia again. And I think... Uh, Hong Kong. We're near <laughs> Hong Kong. Maybe we're in Hong Kong. Um, oh my goodness. We were just saying like, oh, we never get Hong Kong. Uh, I think we're right by the ocean. But of course, all of Hong Kong is. Well, you got a port. That's true. A very major port. And use your compass at the top to tell which direction you're going. You have a compass to tell which direction the bridge is going. You might be able to uh -huh. figure out the exact oh, bridge we're so on. We're heading northeast. Or highway or whatever. I'm stoked by this. You're absolutely crushing it in your GeoGuessr debut right Damn. now. Damn. Well, I mean, you read the signs, right? That might mean 8. That might be what that 8 means there. He's even using highway numbers. Let's go the other way a little bit. Okay. 2 minutes, 35 seconds. There's a bridge. I think that's a bridge. Yeah, it's, it's a full-on bridge that or are we, am I on a bridge right now still? Well, it turns into yeah. a bridge, I think, and this drifts northwest. It doesn't drift off into a curve heading east, though. Yeah. Maybe we're not even in the right location. Yeah, that would be... Maybe. Depends. Do you think that the port would be in proper Hong Kong? Or zoom in, see if there's like a port stuff there. I mean, there is. Container Terminal West. Container Terminal 8 West. That is a bridge. Is, think, that, that could be... Well, that's an option. That's definitely a good option um, right there. But we didn't start on the bridge, did we? Let's... No, we started off the bridge in the south. It drifts in a right turn onto the bridge. So my... You are on, about on right. the curve, yeah. I... But because the thing is... How you gotta... far are we from the Hold bridge? up. If you look that way, there's a city that way, though. There's city that way. What's that way? Hong yeah, Kong. Yeah. This might be exactly where you are. It might be right before this curve you genuinely might be less than a kilometer here container terminal eight yeah that's oh so my... it's supposed to be this is right is that where... too soon though is that too I, soon? I would put a little bit more on the curve so maybe it's a little more down like i would put maybe. it like something like that yeah well we have 17 seconds 
I should probably should have just gone. This is going to be really, really good, this pick. Here we go. 75 meters, 5,000 okay. points. Nice. Unbelievable. Good start. Good start. Good start. That's the end. You nailed it. Let's take a look at the nice summary goal. here. Look at that score. So I'm notorious for having a terrible sense of direction, like getting lost in my hometown, like getting lost, going outside for a bike ride. I think that's ironic in a way that uh, I was able to get somewhat close. I'm to the stunned. <laughs> I think you did better than Jordan and I. Really? In our previous episode when right. Jordan and I did all of Canada. Just got to read the signs. That was unbelievable. Interesting game. Interesting game. Shane, I can't wait to have you back. I'm going to do everyone twice in this series. This is your first time around. Next episode, next month, we're going to have Lone Star on here. He's from India. He's going to be able to hit us with that Indian education of geography. And maybe he'll be able to beat your score. Ooh, it's on. Thank you for watching this video. This has been GeoGuessr with Shifty. That's me. And Shane. That's him. And we're going to have lots more content in the meantime until our next GeoGuessr video. So stay tuned for that. And see you next time. See you next time, folks. Ha, ha, ha.